Hey guys, Nick here from Four Player Network. I'm joined by Nolan. How's it going, guys? From Four Player Network. We're drinking beer. We're, we're drinking here. We're drinking Pirate Grog. Pirate Grog. Yeah. And we're here to talk a little bit about Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. We saw a demonstration this morning. I use air quotes there. Uh, of the game. It was it was a behind closed doors gameplay demonstration. Yes. So it was that it was that kind of gameplay that looks like it's already pre-rendered, but they say it's gameplay. And I don't was, really know. It was cut in with uh, developer commentary and stuff like that. But yeah. neither here nor there. We uh, we saw some uh, some gameplay that hadn't been shown before and had uh, and some commentary from developers to kind of give us an idea of what the game's gonna play like and feel like. We've talked a lot about it on the show in the past few weeks. So I guess we can. Yeah. So uh, so I mean, some of the things we learned was. Um, that you, you play an assassin, you're... Uh, Edward Kenway. Edward Kenway. A uh, lovely gentleman behind us. A pirate trained by assassins. Yes. Um, so uh, they did say that, yes, the world is seamless. They said it was seamless, and you can explore islands. I think the important thing that we drew from the, uh, the interview that was given today was that he said seamless, but he also said you could jump off your boat at any time. Yeah, he said seamlessly um, uh, board other ships. Yes. So you can like you can be in a naval combat, firing cannons back and forth, and then anytime you want, you can get in closer, fire the hooks, and then jump aboard. But and that from that moment, you can literally approach it like any uh, you know assassin mission you would approach in like Assassin's Creed one or two, in which you can uh, you can be stealthy. Or I mean, at that point, you probably can't be stealthy, but you know you can you can climb up the mast and try and do an aerial uh, aerial attack to take them out. Uh, you know, take them all out hand, with hand-to-hand -hand combat, pretty much any way you, you like it, uh, which is cool. It's it, it all goes back to where they said it was seamless, which is nice. Um, but well, so one of the things that, that, that coming onto that is that you see, okay, well it's seamless, and you see an island off in the distance, and you don't know what that island is. He was saying uh, there'll be plantations, there will be Mayan ruins, uh, stuff you can uh, go in and explore, yeah, so loot treasure. You'll probably see, uh, you know, a menagerie of things you you may have seen in previous Assassin's Creed games, but. Uh, it, it's going to have that, I mean, the way it seems right now, they're making it seem like it's going to have that Wind Waker element where you mm -hmm. see an island off the distance and then it's, you can go explore it and you, you never know what you'll find on the island. Which, yeah. You know, that's, if, if that exploration is there the way they say it's going to be there, I'm super excited. Oh, I'm definitely excited as well. And one of the things, uh, if y'all remember, I've complained a lot about the fact that uh, Assassin's Creed 3 didn't have the, the, the way you you accrued uh, your assassins to your guild was I didn't really enjoy it I didn't like it at all um, but I'm kind of looking forward to this because one of the things they were saying was um, there's a lot of different ways you can recruit crew for your ship like you uh, go into a tavern and you can start a bar fight and I guess like earn the respect of some of the people there and then actually hire them to become a member of your crew yes I can't wait to go into a tavern and start a bar fight as a pirate and so that sounds pretty cool one of the cool things also is when you are in that naval combat and you're boarding ships, your crew member can die. Yes. So that actually, I guess that will serve a purpose as to when your crew member die, uh, you go and you can recruit new ones. And I assume the, the more they fight, the better they get and the less chance there is that yeah. they will die. That, that's one of the few things that we don't have a, 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 a grasp on yet, just how that's going to work and how it's going to they, they only mentioned it briefly. They, they mentioned it, they saw. didn't show anything. But, uh, you know, knowing that when taking on another ship and, and boarding another ship, you're taking a risk with your crew, it, it kind of heightens the uh, the tension, I guess, in the situations where that thing sounds pretty exciting. Um, hopefully, all that is as seamless as they as they say it is. Uh, they say it's pretty seamless, but we'll see. That's the, um, that seems to be the key word they're using here in all their promotional stuff. But so we'll see. Um, they showed some underwater exploration. They showed <sighs> yeah. some underwater. So exploration. Uh, what it seemed like was it seemed like it was almost Wind Waker esque in the sense that you went to a specific drop point and they dropped a giant weight, and then you, you held onto the weight as it sunk to the bottom of the ocean, and then from there explore, explored ruins. Now, here's one thing I, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see, because um, it looks like you drop this giant weight and you, you use that to take yourself to the bottom. And I wouldn't be surprised if you can do that anywhere, but if that moment when you drop into the water and you start to sink with the, with the weight, I wouldn't be surprised if that is where it kind of loads in. Oh, yeah, of course. That, that's you know. that's where the animation's going to be. I mean, yeah. it might even be grid-based, like like Wind Waker, in oh, which if, like you're in a, if you're in a certain area and you use the weight in that like that square on the grid, then it knows to give you a percentage chance of finding this like treasure mm -hmm. cove or and whatever. And th they did show a brief gameplay footage of him underwater swimming, uh, opening a chest and gaining... And stabbing a shark. Oh, yeah. So, th so that, I was actually curious about that. They showed a shark bite you, and I guess you died. And then they showed another animation where a shark swam at you and you dodged it, stabbed it, and then it almost seemed like he was controlling it and making it swim. Don't quote me on that, but that's what it looked like, and that'd be cool if you could control sharks and like navigate them. You heard it here first. Them. In Assassin's Creed 4, you can control sharks. 
Um, so they did. They, they did mention the whaling. Uh, you'll be able to harpoon whales. They, they said animals. I don't know if it's just whales. It might be something else. But then they said you could use uh, their body parts for upgrades. Like yes. use like a, I don't I don't know what, but maybe their ambergris to sell and make perfume. I don't know. And you'll probably you know that'll probably tie into upgrading your ship and. And one of the things I noted. This is a quote. He said, "Stealth is back." Yes. So they are admitting there was not a lot of stealth in Assassin's Creed 3. It was not a stealthy game. It was a very combat-heavy game, and they said stealth is back. He went out of his way to say stealth is back, implying that they're li- – oh, and he also said, quote-unquote, we listen to our fans, we listen to our complaints. So, so stealth we'll, seems to be back. But I, well, Real quick, real quick, calm down. Um, so they said um, multiple guns. It almost seems like up to six guns and two cutlasses. So it does seem like combat is going to be pretty heavily based, yeah. but it, hopefully there's a good mixture of both combat and the stealth elements in the game. Very true. But uh, I think that's a, we'll talk a little bit more about it on the podcast tonight, but we do need to wrap up. Uh, but yeah, anything you want to close with on Assassin's Creed 4? It looks pretty cool. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited for it. I think Brad's going to like it. Let's hope so. Crossing um, our fingers. Yeah. But anyways, I guess uh, check back over the weekend for more uh, PAX East coverage from 4Player Network. Thanks, Bye guys. Bye, guys.